line right here. Mm -hmm. Normally it has a cover that you can, it's supposed to be over, but it's okay. Yes. So you're gonna draw your 10 cc's. Go ahead and put your 10 cc syringe. Unclamp both of your saline lines. And you're gonna draw 10 cc's from the syringe. 10 cc's. Clamp. Treatment's completed. First thing you do is you stop the blood pump. You're going over to your arterial line. You clamp both the needle line, or both needle lines, and you're disconnecting it. You're gonna put your 10 cc's in your arterial needle line, unclamp, push. and push. No need to aspirate it? No. Just, uh, just clearing the lines. Okay. okay. So you're gonna take your um, arterial needle line and put it where we drew the 10 cc's. Make sure it's secure. And you're unclamping your saline line and your arterial line. Clear your alarms. And then you're gonna return your blood back, 200 blood flow. So as you're um, returning, you're kind of keeping a close eye on your, on your saline bag. You want to make sure that it's 300 cc's that you're returning back. That's our rinse back. Keep a close eye on your lines. Wait for the lines to turn a light pink, light red color. And then once that's done, then stop your blood pump and then disconnect your venous line. And that's when you can do your sitting blood pressure, standing blood pressure, and then you're going to remove your lines after. Sorry. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to do a close return. Okay. 